So um, I'm just about to get ready really quick and I figured I would just turn on the camera and talk to you guys a little bit. I just wanted to chat with you and yeah, just kind of catch you up on what's going on in my life. I am wearing my <laughs> Christmas sweatshirt and it is the end of April, almost May. Yes, I know. But this is the comfiest sweatshirt ever. I know it's like so, <laughs> it's kind of ratty. <laughs> I'm like not the cutest, but it's so comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but like I'm all about that comfortability life. So whatever, I don't care. But how are you guys? I feel like it's been a while since I've just kind of chatted with you guys and sat down and actually talked. I feel like my last few videos haven't really been, I don't know, like just blogs and recipes and stuff. And I enjoy that stuff, but I also really like to sit down with you guys and just kind of chat and connect that's why I started my channel in the first place because I was feeling really lonely and disconnected as um, a young mom and now that I stay at home I feel really disconnected and lonely sometimes but it's gotten better um, but even before I mean I was nannying so I didn't like have people my age at my job to talk to obviously I was just around kids all day <laughs> So, I just wanted to connect with you guys. I feel like it's been a while. So, our life has been pretty hectic lately and chaotic. There has been a lot going on. Um, I feel like we're kind of in a season of change right now. I feel like every year, every year in May, May is like our busiest month in our house because we have so many birthdays in May. It's Nate and I's anniversary in May. Um, Mother's Day, there's just so much going on. And I feel like every single weekend we have, like, every weekend is filled and booked completely solid. And May just always flies by so fast because we're so busy. But in the last, like, two years, I've noticed now it's, like, starting in April. Like, in April, things start to get really chaotic. So every year in April and May, it's very, very busy. So I don't know. I feel like from Easter until, like, I don't know, Memorial Day. It's just super crazy. So we're starting that season and I don't know, I enjoy being busy because I feel like it gives me things to do. It takes my mind off of, I don't know, like sometimes when I don't have a ton going on, I can get stuck in like the monotony of day-to-day -day life and I struggle with it. So I do enjoy being busy, but then again, sometimes I feel like when I'm busy for a long period of time, it gets to be a little bit overwhelming for me personally. So I'm excited for a lot of things that are coming up. It's all good stuff. Like we're busy with a lot of good stuff. So that's fun. But I also feel like we're kind of in this transition phase of life where there's a lot of new changes happening. Bowdoin is about to start kindergarten in the fall and we've started um, preparing for that. We registered for him for school and we're going to visit the kindergarten class, I think next week. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty emotional about that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, here in our town, at least, they only offer full day kindergarten. There's no half day option. So right now in preschool, he only goes for two and a half hours a day. And honestly, after school, he's pretty tired. Um, it seems to take a lot out of him just to only be away for two and a half hours and full day kindergarten is seven hours, seven hours. And I feel like that's such a long day for a five-year-old and Bowden turns five, like two weeks, I think before school starts. So he will be like the youngest, he'll be one of the youngest, if not the youngest in his class. Um, so yeah, I just feel like seven hours a day for a five-year-old is really, really long. This year they did a shortened schedule, so it was six hours a day for kindergarten because of the C word. So next year they're most likely going back to full day, um, seven hours a day. I'll be eating lunch at school and there's, there's just so much. And I feel like, I don't know, I'm really sad about him being gone all day. Part of me feels like... I don't know. Bowden is very much like he talks a lot <laughs> and he constantly likes to 
have you watch what he's doing and play with him and he requires a lot of attention and um, connection and I'm not saying that in a bad way that's not a bad thing um, but now having Emmy like having a second child it is a little bit tricky because I feel like with Bowden you know I only had him um, and I stayed at home with him for a few months and then I nannied and brought him with me so he was with me literally all the time he never went to daycare or anything like that so we were together 24 7 which was amazing and that's what I wanted um, and I was just able to give him so much attention so much like I felt like I was doing one-on-one -on -one, like working on so much with him on his colors on his shapes on his numbers like walking talking feeding like I just was able to spend obviously so much quality one-on-one -on -one time with him focusing on only him because he was my only baby and he was also <laughs> A very tricky baby he was really difficult <laughs> he cried a lot and wanted to be held constantly I was always holding him always so um, with Emmy you know she's my second baby and also her personality is just very very different she's much more independent um, I don't know she doesn't want to be held as much she doesn't want to be snuggled all the time which is great um, she plays on her own a lot or like with Bowden if Bowden's in the same room with her like she's content just sitting on the floor and kind of playing and getting into stuff and whatever so I feel like a I haven't had to I don't know she hasn't been as difficult so I haven't had to hold her as much and give her as much not attention but do you know what I mean like she's more independent but it also makes me sad because I feel like Bowden's also like whatever Emmy does or whatever I do with Emmy he wants me to do with him if I snuggle her and tickle her he wants that done so like it's very difficult for me to just sit down and focus solely on her when he's around because I don't know it's just tricky so I'm happy that you know I'll be able to give her a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention and time and just focus on her while he's in school all day because right now he's only gone for two and a half hours and while he's at school she naps so that's like my time to get ready and to you know clean the house or edit a video or whatever eat my lunch shower all those fun things um and that's great but i also feel like then i literally never get any one-on-one -on -one time with just me and emmy so i'm excited to give her attention and have time with her but i'm also just really sad because i feel like he's going to be gone monday through friday like for most of the day so I'm really sad that that chapter is kind of ending because I mean he's starting school so he like until he turns 18 unless he decides he wants to homeschool I guess at some point um you know he's gonna be gone all day long at school it's not gonna oh. be any different for from here on out like forever so I'm really sad about it I'm excited to take advantage of this summer and hopefully we'll be able to get out a lot and do a lot of fun stuff and take advantage of kind of like our last little bit of time with him home all the time but yeah I'd be lying if I said I wasn't super emotional about it because I just feel like it's going to be a really hard transition probably harder for me than for him but I don't know guys I'm super emotional I feel like you guys with older kids are probably like Oh my god girl like it's really not that big of a deal but for me I don't know like him being five and starting kindergarten is just like so big like he's just so big to me now and I feel like it's happening so fast and I'm just not really ready for it I don't know it's hard it's really hard so that's one change that's definitely happening there's another change that I can't really talk about quite yet I will update you guys later if it ends up happening but there are some other changes in the works um there's just a lot going on behind the scenes that I can't really talk about oh I can't even talk there's just a lot going on behind the scenes that I can't necessarily talk about publicly yet and um it's tricky because I want to tell you guys everything but it's just kind of adding to the stress because there's so many events going on right now and birthdays and you know Mother's Day is coming up like I said our anniversary is coming up and Father's Day like there's just so much going on um we are planning on possibly going on like a little staycation for Memorial Day and I might go see my sister this summer she lives in South Carolina so I might take the kids and go visit her again this summer 
but on top of like all that busy stuff, you know, there's just so much like change going on in the background um, that it kind of just adds to the chaos, you know? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I am very much a person who likes comfortability. I like to know what to expect. I don't like surprises. I like things to not stay the same per se, but I like to just feel very steady and grounded and comfortable, I guess. So when there's a lot of changes happening in life, sometimes like, even though it's good stuff, sometimes it does kind of cause my anxiety to spike a little bit because of the unknowns, you know, like you just don't know which way it's going to go. Um, and that causes me to not really feel super steady and secure. And, um, yeah, it just kind of adds to my anxiety and doesn't really help, <laughs> help the situation. So emotionally, it's just a little bit more difficult for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. All good stuff, all positive stuff, but lots going on. Emerson also has her 15 month checkup this week. I'm really excited because I don't think she has to get any shots this week be or this week this time I think he said we're done until two years old so I'm really hoping that that's the case because it's not fun to do that but she is not walking yet she's 15 months old actually not yet she'll be 15 months old in a few days but she is not walking and there are literally no signs of her wanting to walk so it's a little bit frustrating but what are you gonna do um she's climbing literally everything it's wild she literally climbs our couch. She climbs every stair possible. Obviously, we have like our stairs blocked off in our living or not our living room to go upstairs in our house. But outside in our garage, we have like two steps to go up into the house. She climbs those constantly. She tries to climb on Nate's um, like lawnmower. She's wild. She climbs up on our couch. We had to move our coffee table because I'm terrified that she's going to like fall off the couch and smack her head in the corner. So we had to move that. Um, she tries to climb up like our, I don't even know what it's called, like our cube storage shelf in the playroom. We have it bolted to the wall, so it's fine. But like Bowden just was not like this. He is very much more like, I don't know. He likes to like look before he goes. Like he's more like me, my personality, like very much like a watcher before he does things. Like he's not a big risk taker. He doesn't, you know, like to do crazy stuff. He doesn't climb. He doesn't like do anything like that. But Emmy is the total opposite. So I think that she physically is able and like capable of walking. I just don't think she wants to. She's also very stubborn. <laughs> Um, and she does not want to do what she doesn't want to do. So I don't know every time I like she walks with like the push walker But every time I try and like hold her hands and like actually like walk with her Nine times out of ten She just starts screaming and like kicking her legs and crying and like refuses to walk and just like sits down um, So that's super fun Bowden didn't walk until he was like 15 or 16 months old. So he was a little bit late. So I'm assuming she'll be the same way. I was actually kind of surprised because she started walking with her walker at like 10 months old. So I thought for sure that she was going to be walking by a year old, but she just doesn't want to, I guess. So I don't know. So we'll see what her pediatrician says about that, but I'm assuming she's fine. She just doesn't care to walk. I don't know. She's also started throwing temper tantrums recently, which is fun. <laughs> if we like don't give her something that she wants or if we like take away like you know, if we don't, like, don't let her eat, like, I don't know, dog food or, like, a power cord, she gets so frustrated and she starts screaming and, like, throwing her head back and, like, kicking her legs. <sighs> so I feel like that's starting way earlier than I remember it starting with Bowden. I don't know, guys. I just feel like she's going to be the one who gives me a run for my money. She's so sweet, but she's also just so stubborn and so wild and... I just have a feeling she's going to be the kid who is like getting cuts and scrapes and bruises and stuff all the time because she's just so wild but I love her she's the sweetest but I'll update you guys after we do her 15 month appointment um and let you guys know how that goes okay so I have to do my hair now because 
I mean, honestly, you guys, like nine times out of ten, my hair is in a bun every single day on top of my head. But I think like maybe once a week, I try and like straighten it or curl it a little bit and like do something with it. But I'm gonna get that done now because this this is a little bit of a mess. Mm -hmm.